Hello everybody, welcome back to the Seesaw and it is Saturday again which means a, another grocery haul and meal plan. Um, so by the time this posts um, things will probably have changed drastically <laughs> but we're still about a week and a half behind on our posting. I am getting there slowly but um, so this weekend as I'm filming this we are just about to go into this new rule of six where only six people can meet but I think the worrying thing is that that R number and the number of new infections every day is raising, rising quite considerably and quite quickly so all a bit worrying. We have had football this morning, a friendly game um, against a team that's in a higher division from us so it was quite a tough game and we were without our goalie and our captain so it was quite tough all around but the boys played well um, and it's good to get a run out and we've got rugby training again tomorrow. Um, Caleb's had his first full week back at school and his birthday so he turned 11 this week and thank you to everybody that wished him a happy birthday on the channel. He really enjoyed reading your comments. So I went to Aldi and Sainsbury's today, really strange in Aldi and our Aldi has been there, oh, I don't know, five, six years now, something like that. Um, and certainly the last couple of years I've shopped there more than anywhere else and I've never really had to queue. There was obviously the queues to get in when we were in the middle of the lockdown period um, but never really had to queue more than that whereas today inside getting in was fine there was just a few people ahead of me and they've got the traffic light system so once it's green you can go in um, and now I was in within probably 10 minutes and it didn't feel crowded in the store at all it just felt normal but then when I got around to the last aisle coming back up towards the checkouts, the queue to get in a checkout was all the way down that aisle from the front of the store to the back and around the corner. And I'm really not sure what was going on. They had enough tills open. I think they had four out of the five out of the eight, something like that, which is normal for a Saturday afternoon. Um, but everybody was commenting that it just seemed really weird. I don't know what was going on. And even the girl who, who um, was at the till when I checked out said she had no idea what was going on because their, you know, their system to only let so many people in the store was working. They'd been and checked that. Um, so don't, never seen it like that. Even like at Christmas and you know that sort of time, never like that. So I'm not sure what was going on, but it was quite, um, quite different. <laughs> so anyway, I spent £75 at Aldi and another £22 at Sainsbury's, so quite a big shop this week compared to the last few weeks, but I did get a lot of meat this week, um, and as I always say, that's what I think affects the pricing. So I will turn you around, I'll show you what we picked up, and then as always, I'll show you our meal plan for the week ahead at the end. Okay, so that is the little sweep of everything we got. Um, Non-food items, I got some more of Licky's little treat sticks, so he's just on the last one of the last pack. I got my TV guide and then got one of these foil roasting trays. These are just a pound at Sainsbury's. Um, one of the meals I'm making this week, I want to make a double lot and then put one in here, seal it all up with some foil and put it in the freezer so I've got a ready-made casserole for another, another day. I got two of the just the everyday shower creams. I got a deodorant for Caleb. Now, he hasn't started wearing deodorant, but I know some of his friends have. And he's just to that age now. He's 11. He's very active. I haven't noticed that he's getting particularly sweaty, but I thought I'd get him a, a can of um, deodorant just so he can start getting used to, to putting that on. Um, a little bottle of hand soap is still not doing many with the pumps on, and Aldi didn't have any. And then I got some more of the little penguin minis. Caleb's had pet lunch a couple of times this week and he had these in them and he quite likes those. I got some of the mini wraps just to use in lunch boxes. Got some Freddo bars, half a dozen eggs. I've still got half a dozen, so that puts me back to a dozen. And a regular 50-50 um, bread. Um, two bags of the everyday tortilla chips. Those are for something I want to use um, with a dinner this week. Um, a pack of these, the hand-cooked sea-salted potato crisps. So Caleb quite likes Corker's Crisps is the um, crisp factory that's really near to our home. Um, the one that um, actually burned um, a couple of months ago, if you remember, during lockdown. I posted a little video clip of it, but it went up in flames. Um, they are slowly coming back to life and um, I think are producing again now. Um, but Caleb really likes their sea salt flavour crisps and these are kind of very similar. These are the kind of hand-cooked 
sea salted so I thought I'd try those for him and then I got him a pack of the tortilla chips the chili flavor as he likes those some granola bars and some little muffins just to have some extra options at breakfast time with yogurts and smoothies and fruit and things some cream crackers haven't had those for ages um, and I quite like those like if I'm taking some salad or tuna mayonnaise or something like that to work just to have a couple of cream crackers rather than bread I'd rather have those than bread two of the cookies and cream and one pack of ginger nuts I got some macaroni pasta and some farfalle or bow tie pasta um, a tomato puree um, I wanted Italian seasoning again and again they didn't have it and they didn't even have a label for it on the shelf in Sainsbury's this week so not sure what's going on with that why that's not available um, but I got a chili powder I got two of the condensed cream of chicken soups that's for the casserole that I'm using the uh, the foil pan for one of the large jars of tomato passata um, again I wanted light soy sauce I've already got some dark um, but they just didn't have light soy sauce in Aldi or in Sainsbury's and Sainsbury's have their own brand and the um, what is it Blue Dragon something like that one of the like oh, maybe it's Kickerman um, but anyway they didn't have any light soy sauce all the spots for that were empty and the Aldi packs only had the dark in so again not sure what's going on with light soy sauce why it's not available but I just got an extra bottle of dark because I need it for a couple of different meals this week and then I got a Frank's hot sauce although we like this as a regular hot sauce to, to sprinkle over food I actually want that for something specific this week um, last year they had these in Aldi in their kind of food specials for a while and Caleb had these to take to school the strawberry orange black currant fruit strings um, they're quite a useful snack um, ideal for school um, school snacks because they don't have anything in them that can be offensive to school such as nuts or chocolate or anything like that um, and he quite enjoyed those so I got two boxes because you never know how long these things are going to be in they were £1.30 I think for a box of five which is not bad got two cans of tuna and a can of sweet corn a pack of four baked beans I think that's all the pantry stuff um, a sour cream I did get strawberry jam and cream horns as my little sort of treat tea time treat this week um, two packages of cream cheese some cottage cheese two pots of cottage cheese a large semi-skimmed milk and an apple juice one pack of smoothies so Caleb's got a couple left from the two packs last week um, so this pack should give him enough then for this week I got raspberry trifles as a little pudding treat for this week I did get Caleb a little pack of sushi for his lunch tomorrow after rugby um, some honey roast ham just a small pack of that pork cocktail sausages a pack of grated mature cheddar um, a block of butter a pack of the large pack of the grated everyday cheddar some um, greek style strawberry yogurts and another pack of the little pancakes caleb quite likes those um, again for a breakfast with a smoothie and some fruit that's quite a nice breakfast for him um, I'm just trying to vary it up really so that now he's back at school he can have some different things for breakfast um, freezer we got um, a pack of Cornettos because of the queue in Aldi I didn't actually get ice cream in Aldi which I normally do um, so I just waited until I popped into Sainsbury's and got the ice cream there because I thought by the time I've queued in Aldi got through the checkout put everything in the car gone to Sainsbury's you know 20 minutes in and out of Sainsbury's it would all be just milk by the time I got home so I got a tub of vanilla ice cream and the Cornettos I got a garlic pizza cheese bread which we like we're having that with a lasagna this week some frozen vegetables and frozen jacket potatoes and then meat wise I got two packs of the chicken breast mini fillets um, a pack of back bacon, a pork joint, a loin joint for tomorrow. This is a bit bigger than the ones I normally buy, but it actually looks really nice. It's got a crackling layer on it, and the meat in there looks really lovely. So that's for our roast for tomorrow. Um, chicken breast, I got a small and a medium sized pack. I needed kind of four or five breasts, and the big packs had eight in. I didn't need that many, and if I, hate, if I take five out and I've got three left, I've still got to buy more. So I just bought a small and a medium pack to get me what I needed. An unsmoked gammon joint, a pack of turkey mints, two of the pork fillets or pork loins, um, just to use for a dish this week. 
um, again one's not quite enough two's a bit much but there'll be some leftovers I got a pack of the bourbon barbecue chicken thighs and drumsticks a regular bag of potatoes some wonky mixed peppers an edamame bean stir fry baby spinach and red gem lettuce a head of broccoli some wonky parsnips some dill and basil for licky we've got our parsley and our mint in the garden have come back to life with a bit of rain and sun this week so they are both sprouting well again so we've got plenty of both of those so these will just give him something different um, a cucumber again there was no cucumber at all in Audi not even a space for it on the shelves um, which there wasn't last week and then there also wasn't any in Sainsbury's last week but Sainsbury's had plenty so once again one other thing that I'm not sure what's going on with cucumber um, mixed peppers salad tomatoes uh, regular white mushrooms some baby leaf salad four ripe kiwis some raspberries blueberries strawberries and bananas so looking at our meal plan for the week ahead Tonight we're going to have the barbecue chicken. I'm going to make some homemade mac and cheese. I'm going to make it really cheesy with some of the cottage cheese mixed in it and plenty of cheddar. Um, so that will be pretty tasty with the barbecue chicken. Tomorrow we'll have the roast pork dinner with roast potatoes, Yorkshires, um, loads of vegetables and gravy. Um, Monday I'm going to do chicken and bows and that's the one that I will make a pack up for the freezer. So the bow tie pasta, the chicken mini fillets, the chicken soup um, the canned of condensed chicken soup and some other bits and bobs all mixed together um, to make a nice kind of pasta casserole if you like. On Tuesday I'm going to use the slow cooker and make some Chinese pork with the pork fillets. On Wednesday slow cooker's out again. Um, I think it's going to be quite hot this week so the slow cooker helps to cook things without heating up the whole kitchen. I'm going to make the campfire stew which is a really popular um, slow cooker dish. It uses the gammon and then you add baked beans, tomatoes, vegetables in with it and let it cook all day and then you shred up the gammon and it's really lovely I'm going to have that with baked potatoes Thursday we'll make lasagna and we'll have that cheesy garlic pizza bread with that and then Friday I'm going to make buffalo chicken casserole which is what the Frank's hot sauce is for um, and the whole pieces of chicken and then you make a mixture with the Frank's hot sauce some um, different seasonings and some cream cheese you put that over the top, sprinkle cheddar on the top and bake that in the oven and we'll have that with rice and with the tortilla chips. So it's almost like a dip except it's pieces of chicken rather than shredded chicken. So that is our plan for this week. Thank you for joining us for this grocery haul and meal plan and we look forward to seeing you back here on Seesaw soon.